Hello there, I'm a member of the training team, and today I'm going to show you how to reverse transactions in the Thin tab of the patient account. Reversals of transactions from an integrated merchant vendor should be done in that merchant vendor, and then they'll send the reversal to us. Reversing in our system, and then in the merchant vendor system, will result in duplicate reversals. It will make the patient account look like the patient owes money when they don't. You can use the bottom half of the Fin tab to reverse transactions in our system. Here are the steps to reversing a transaction. Click in the checkbox of the transaction or transactions that you wish to reverse. I am going to filter the bottom portion of this tab to pull up the transactions that I want. So I'm going to click on the checkbox of these transactions, and then click on the Update button. Warning! Do not click on the Update button more than once. It will take some time if there are many reversals. Clicking the button multiple times may create unwanted duplicate reversals. Once a transaction has been reversed, a reversal transaction is created, which cannot be undone. The reverse transaction will lose its reversal box to the right. The Cleanup Reversals button allows you to hide the transaction reversal pairs. The transaction reversal pairs are the original transaction and its reversal. For example, 111 is a transaction and R111 is its reversal. A transaction and its reversal are only linked if the checkbox is used to create the second half of the pair. If you hide your reversal pairs, this will give you a shorter list of transactions to look through, which will be useful if you have built up a long list over time. Hiding transaction reversals will leave the page only showing active transactions. A transaction and its paired reversal will cancel each other out, and therefore has no effect on the patient's balance. When you reverse an allocation, code 197, the money is placed back on the account level, and the system will start reallocating it in the next minute or so. Allocation reversals should be done when the claims are in rejected status, so the system doesn't work on the claim while you are working on it. The only way to remove a row that does not have a checkbox under the reversal column is to post the opposite money transaction type, for example 199 or R199 for the same amount causing the two rows to cancel each other out. If you need to remove an R199 for $40, they'll need to post a 199 for $40. Some codes need to be posted on the bottom line of the top portion of this tab. These kind of postings go on the account and not on a specific claim. If you try a posting using the middle row and you can't complete your posting, a pop-up message will appear letting you know that you can't post a payment the way that you are trying to. To see a list of all the transaction types, click in the field next to the word type in blue letters and hit enter. A list of all the transaction codes will appear. If you need to post a code to reverse a transaction, you can select the code by clicking on it and pressing enter. You will have to add the letter R in front of the number to make it a reversal. Otherwise, this list can be used to look up descriptions of code to filter the bottom half of the tab to find the rows that you're looking for. To filter a column by type, click in the field under the Type column. Type in the code that you want to filter by and press enter. 
Only transactions with that code will then show up in the column. All of this could also be done in the Claim Payments tab as well, if you want to only look at a specific claim. To open the Claim Payments tab, click on Claims, click on a claim number, and then click on the Claim Payments tab. Well, that's all there is to this video. We hope that you found it helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click like at the bottom of the page. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.